What is up, you dude? This is Anthony's Gaming here, and today we are back on Metro Exodus. I don't know why I said it in that voice, but I did, and think of it, we will. So, anyway, in the last episode, we left the forest area. We found out that the dam is actually was actually getting close to breaking, and everything on the other side of the dam is basically nothing but toxic radiation water, basically. I don't know how else to describe it. So we left that area, and Alyosha tried to warn is trying to warn the people to leave, so that they don't die. Because if that dam breaks, everyone in that valley will die instantly. But yeah, we left that area. Found out that Anna's getting worse, so we end up coming to a city that is just full of radiation like it is just it's apparently worse than Moscow so we geared up hopped in the van that we got from the desert which it was covered in lead to help keep the radiation out and me and Miller went are on a mission to try to find a special drug that is going that should help Anna. We're down in the metro system and we found what looked like an old battlefield. And if you look in the background, you can see he's literally walking on a pile of corpses. Now, in the last episode, whenever we ended, I heard uh, the faint sound of a of an alarm. Usually, what that means in the past games, anyway is that when there's a faint alarm at a distance usually that means like it's about to get like this big spiritual or whatever ghost kind of adventure especially with Miller he said I suddenly feel funny I don't know if that's what it's gonna be I don't know if we're gonna see something else but the only way to find out is to get on with this episode and see what lies in the metro. Forgive me. <gasps> oh my god. They're ghosts of children. They're trying to wake up the adults. Oh my god. That's a. St Here's what I'm thinking. All the adults died trying to defend the station, then the kids were left alone. If that's what happened, like, oh my gosh. And look, there's a there's the ghost of a kid near every dead body. Almost like that's their parent and they're trying to be with them. This is where the battle ended. Let's check that game out. It should lead to the next station. Don't touch me!
Gotta say, I'm loving the bulldog. Also earlier, sorry if you heard me uh, sniffle. Right now, as of the time of recording, I got a bit of a like a bit of a stuffed up nose, but Come on. nothing bad. Let's go. That's definitely his rifle. Cause every time we saw Miller in the past games, he always had one of those. Just a shadow. Cylinders, chlorine. <laughs> the bastards just gassed the whole station. Hence the hecatomb. They sure didn't joke around here. Uh, chlorine will definitely take the wind out of you. Cut off the game. <sighs> We're not opening that gate for sure. We'll have to go back to these service tunnels. Follow me. Because one time, whenever I was uh, younger, so, people here did survive for some time. We never had any communication with Novo Spears, but assumed they had jammers too. Want to hear him tell the story? One time, whenever I was little, well, s s younger, like around 15, I had to put some chlorine tablets in our pool and I my dad for I for, they forgot to tell me don't have my head over the bucket well whenever I opened the bucket and I took the cover off I took it off fast and like had my face right over in the chlorine like the smell of the chlorine like hit me full on and like uh like I actually passed out for a few for like a minute or two but imagine being stuck in a room with it Ugh. after the bombs fell the defense committee decided that hiding was our only chance to prevent new attacks Every time I see these long ones, I always think that there's going to be a rifle or something in it. Honestly, I think we're getting close to the end of the game. 
Institute is still far. I just hope the others are doing better. All of the metro systems were built similarly, so there should be a ventilation well. We'll explain how they vented all that chlorine into the metro. Alright, if we move forward from here, we should get into the ventilation tunnel. And from there, to the next track tunnel. feeling about this what what the Kevin, we're not here to hurt you! Come on! Okay, come on, come back! Okay, we're not here to hurt you. Come on. Come on, Artyom. Definitely came There's nothing to fear. We just want to talk. He definitely came this way. Come out, boy! Enough hiding! Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Miller! Children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. Uh, Miller, you're, uh... 
Haven't having a problem with your gun? This way. The station's nearby. Uh Miller, you're Wish. It's prospect, of course. Just one section to the institute. We're close, Artyom. Wait. All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait, which station are you from? Artyom is from the exhibition, and I'm from Polis. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait. Hold the line. Who oh, breaking out the breaking out the rail gun? Is that all of them? <laughs> Look at them run! Just like old times! And we're done here. Private Klebnikov! You can come out now! Hey! Where did you go? Did he just run? How are we supposed to find him now? I'm here! We shouldn't have taken eyes off him! Oh, he's alive! Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. Well, I have a feeling that he's the only one left. With rioters. We had a war here, you see. We noticed that. You got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on a mission, and there's nobody else. Not since the war, anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How long has it been just the two of you? Uh, almost a year. We are lucky. Had a whole box of green stuff. Like the rich guys. Wait. Artyom, it's satellite map. 
This is the valley where Alyosha and you got lost. Hmm. Where did you get this from, Private? Stokers brought it from the SATCOM Center a long time ago. So your father's on a mission? When is he coming back? I don't know. When did he leave? A month back. And he's been off the air for the last three weeks. I see. Mm. Do you know where he went? What was the mission? He went to that SATCOM center. We were going to leave the city in the spring. He went to go get the impact map. Said, we're sure to find a clear place if we get one. Got it. Private, we need to use your radio. Artyom, let's contact the Aurora. I'm going to get that map, and we should tell them. Do you read me, Aurora? Miller here. Colonel, read you loud and clear. How did you get on the air? A change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the Institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste there. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too late. Come again, Aurora. Over. Do you copy, Aurora? Over. Damn. Static again. Artyom. If his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us. A chance to have a real life. I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then Wait, we'll go get the car. you can't go outside with the anti-rad. We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look. There's even a workbench here. By the way, you can take my railgun if you want. Might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the ammo. Tell me when you're ready. Wait, so we're gonna get the railgun? The committee sent in soldiers. Oh, the wait, where did he put the railgun? And then some died in combat, others in the fire. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm okay. Don't worry. Okay, he said I can take the railgun, but. I know I could have just picked up the railgun, but uh, I prefer to uh, just keep mine and modify it. Does it take? 
think he just takes these. But of course I'm out. Oh well. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter, your wife, is in your hands now. Now go. Well, that answers my question from the last episode. <sighs> it's like, it really is sad. All these people wanted to do was survive and live a life. I doubt we're gonna find his dad Alive. Back off. Ugly. <laughs> the thing is a lovely. Yeah, I'm guessing these were moles. I mean, just by the head. Yeah, I definitely think those things are moles. I mean, just by the way their faces look and everything. Oh. Oh. Wish I my stuff from the last area would have came over because I had a bunch of supplies. Uh.
Wait, my uh, arrow's pointing. Oh, that was. Oh, that was more of just more or less a resupply area. These people had a pretty good camp set up here. I know I only shot one shot, but still. Ooh. It's like they torched this whole area. back. You have definitely moles. I mean, just look at their. I mean, all you gotta do is look at the way their faces and paws look. I think one of them keeps climbing up and then falling. <sighs> I suck at aiming. Oh boy. I mean, yeah, I might, I mean, just look at how much, uh, energy I use from it, and it's still getting one, one hit kills. Come on, come on, come on. See if I can hurry up and craft some, uh... Eighty seven will have to do for now. I'm gonna switch over to the bulldog real quick. Wait, hold on, maybe I can get some supplies from these guys. Yep, these guys had it set up just like we did.
Honestly, this has always been one of my favorite things about the Metro. Just, like, the Metro itself. Like, because it always has, like, this eerie, creepy feeling to it. Well, at least we found some supplies. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I'm surprised that this, uh... boat actually is... well... here. And that didn't, like, float away or something. But... Just saying, if y'all hear growling, I have two Yorkies that like to be in my room, and they're two males, so they love to fight. Ironically, though, they fight with each other during the day, but at night, they sleep right next to each other. Hmm. One thing I'm wondering, though. He said his dad came this came this way. No, no, no. I'm going for the drug. He, his dad went in the same direction as that Miller is going. Okay, I think I gotta keep going that way, but Oh boy. I'm sorry, what? Are these giant... These are... Giant slugs. Oh my god. Well, now we know what was in the water back in the other area. <gasps> Did I seriously just find what I think I found? A freaking box magazine. Sweet! Yeah. Now we're ready. Okay, there seems to be a lot of them in this area. So I'm gonna... Oh, 
should have saved before I came in here. Yeah, that giant leech is... It's... It's... Just huge. I thought we had it bad at ours. Then again, I think I would kind of prefer these things over the shrimp, but then again, these things seem like they probably burrow. Yeah, it's a good thing I had the light on. It scares these things away. Okay, so before we go in there, I'm going to get to a good enough spot and do some target practice. But first... Okay, there we go. And just so I don't have to do that every time... Actually, we're start. We might be running low on time, and judging by how I saw that giant slug or leech, whatever you want to call it, I don't want to end up getting to a part where that thing it has a big, bigger presence. So, and then have to cut it. So, I'm going to end the episode here, and in the next episode, we will continue right down this tunnel. <sighs> Gotta say, I'm really liking this area. Like, it's definitely a lot more uh, reminiscent of the older games, which the Metro Tunnels are always what I loved about the Metro games. But, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. So, with all that being said, thanks all you so much for watching. If you like this, subscribe, leave a like, and as always, please leave a comment down below, because your comments are the only way that I can improve on these, and chat me directly or check out updates on the channel check me out on my twitter at Antilles Gaming. and with all that being said i will see all of you in the next episode